So now that we've set up our delegates properly, let's run our application and see if it works. So we can go ahead and run it and we'll be able to see our plus sign here. We can add, let's add Pluto. And just as a, a warning, this isn't gonna work. So it doesn't really matter what we put in here. We can just add gibberish. Um, and I should have made this a number as well. So let's set this equal to zero and let's set this equal to zero as well. And this is an interesting fact, so whatever. Um, so we're gonna press add and we're gonna see that nothing gets added to our table view here. So what's going on? Well, our table view is working properly in that the first time our view controller gets loaded up, it takes a look at all of the current information and it loads it onto our screen here. However, our table view doesn't know that we added new information and that it should check and update itself properly. So how can we do that? Well, there's a method we can call on our table view. So we can go into the add space object uh, method, we can say self.tableView, and we're going to call the method ReloadData, which is going to tell its table view that it should check again based on all of our current parameters or all of the properties we've set up, uh, if it should in fact, uh, you know, update and what the new information should display is. So let's go ahead and run our application again, and we're going to be able to press the plus sign again, and this time let's enter some real information because we're going to be able to see it this time. So Pluto's nickname is Hades, and let's guesstimate that the diameter is like 20,000. We can say the temperature is maybe like 70,000. Uh, you know, let's say the temperature is like negative 180. It's really far from the sun. Uh, number of moons will say zero, and it was discovered in 1930. So let's press add. And now we see that we have our a new cell here, but it's still not displaying the information properly. So what's going on? Well, we need to update one final piece of information, and that's going to be in the self row at index path inside of our table view. And we have our if statement here, and we say if index path dot section is equal to one, use new space object to customize our cell. Well, we're not doing anything currently inside of this method, so we should write some logic here, and we should write ow space object planet is equal to self dot added space objects object at index and we can say index path dot row and let's set up our text label so we can say cell dot text label dot text is equal to planet dot name and we can say cell dot uh, detail text label dot text is equal to planet dot nickname and we don't have a space image, so let's just leave that blank for now. And let's go ahead and run our application one more time. And we should be able to see our added information on our table view. So let's press the plus button. And we can say the nickname and the name is Pluto. And the nickname will say is Hades. And again, we can just kind of fill out this information. We're not going to be displaying it, so it's not really a big deal. But we'll say number of moon is zero and discovered in 1930. So you can press the add button. And now we see that Pluto comes up along with Hades. Now we don't have an image yet because we haven't figured out how to add images to our project, but we have been able to pass this information back to our table view controller from our add space objects view controller. And we've been able to implement our own delegate and protocol. Now, if you're overwhelmed about what we've done in the last series of videos together, don't worry, we're gonna have plenty of practice at doing this. Um, delegation takes quite a long time to learn, and it's one of the more advanced topics in iOS. However, we use it in so many of our different view objects, it's really handy to understand what's going on in the background, uh, especially when we implement things like our table view controller, delegate, and our table view data source.